Well, you've seen those sign spinners on street corners. They wear costumes, they dance around, they wave the signs, trying to get your attention and your business. Well, their days may be numbered thanks to automation. Eyewitness News reporter Q McRae tells us the next sign spinner you see could be a robot. They go by many names, sign spinners, arrow twirlers, sign dancers, you know, the people hired to hold boards and advertise businesses. They're all over Southern California. I like it. I like it. I see a lot of people. It's an okay job. They pay good, depending where you're at. Little does he know, though, his summer gig could be in jeopardy. Introducing the robot spinner. She might be a dummy. But she was a smart hire if you ask Eduardo Hernandez. He's indeed a perfect employee. She's out there all day, doesn't complain, looking all cute, never needs anything, doesn't ask for a raise. <laughs> and Hernandez says she's very low maintenance too. He might come out and fluff her wig, but that's about it. And because she's hooked up to a dolly, there's no heavy lifting. But as you can see down here, she is battery powered and needs to be charged nightly. An eight hour charge and she'll dance all day long. However, the real benefit comes down to the bottom line. We're looking for better and cheaper ways to, to come out with advertising in order to make ends meet. You know, everyone's struggling and just nobody seems to have money nowadays. We checked online. You can buy a mannequin like this for around a thousand bucks. Jonathan here works a five hour day at $10 an hour. Based on a five day work week, that's $1,000 a month. Patricia Gonzalez agrees that money wise, the robot is the way to go. She has a robot and a human spinner. Still, she's partial to her living, breathing twirler. Our live guy, he can actually talk to the customer, you know, tell them about us and move around different places. Both managers told us they turned to a robot advertiser because they felt bad for employees sweating in the sun. The twirlers we spoke to had strong opinions about their mechanical counterparts. Then people like me who won't have a job, then we'll just be home doing anything like maybe just playing video games. I need money. <laughs> In Whittier, Q McRae, ABC7 Eyewitness News.